Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Business Every Day. We are doing something completely different than what we've done previously, uh, as kind of per usual here in this shop. Uh, we are going to be doing a one hour build challenge. My goal, my plan, the strategy for today is going to be taking a stock piece of material. I'm looking at some oak that I have sitting in the other room and turning it into some uh, double hook modern eyes wood uh, coat rack hangers. And so something that I can put up in the house or in the office that um, it has two hooks on it and I've already 3D modeled it so it truly won't be the full build, but what we're gonna be doing is the actual construction part. I'm gonna see if I can complete it in one hour, start to finish. One hour on the clock, starting now. Let's go. Okay, let the build begin. The first thing that we need to do boom, is grab our stock material. Let me grab a tape measure and we are going to see what this actual size is. Okay, I got this old piece of oak here that I think will work out okay, eh, maybe not. Oh, this is crazy, this is ludicrous. Why in the world would I ever agree to do something like this? But, okay, uh, I'm gonna walk you through as we're doing this. This is a five and uh, one half inch piece of old oak. Uh, what we're going to be doing is milling it down, and yeah, I don't have a lot of time to talk, so I'm just going to get into it. We got bit changes to make. We got to actually secure this piece of material. Ugh. I haven't modeled the ripping it down yet, so yeah, we got to do that too. Okay, so what we've done is we've secured the piece of material down, and now I need to quickly 3D model. Uh, we're going to make this flat uh, with our end mill bit, and so I'm going to take about a sixteenth off this side, then I'm going to flip it over, do the same on the other side, and go from there. Okay, so these are what our hooks are going to look like. Um, i got to take a piece of flat material. What is our dimensions? What are our dimensions? These are seven and a half, so let's do eight inches by four inches. Can we get eight inches? We can get eight inches by five and three quarters. Okay, now that we got it modeled, now let's, uh, let's do this thing. Okay, my camera SD card got full, so I had to swap it out real quick. So we lost some time, but uh, the Z probe has just been done, and now we are on our way. All right, that's one side. One day, I will have a planer, and this will be so much easier.
to the chop saw. Let's go square this thing up. Okay, I got my piece of stock here and I'm pretty happy with it. It's all nice and flat. And let me do a quick vacuum. Switch out the dust collection system. Okay, here's my problem, or at least what I think my problem is going to be. It's how thick my piece is. Now, if I had a lot of time, I could measure it on one side, then measure it on the other, and yada, yada, yada. But my end mill is only one inch. And I, oh, it's so close. Here, let me show you how close. Look how close that is. So... Wow. Yeah, this is going to be close. I'm going to have to measure very precisely, do a perfect Z-probe, and then cut this thing out. So, let's get to that, because we only have... We only have 25 minutes. Let's go! Okay, so even though we are doing this really fast, we have to be mindful and safe. Okay? Number one, mindful and safe. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want you guys to get hurt, but let's do this. Well, that's dead on. Plug. Clip. Let's see if I got my settings right. Set X and Y. Spindle. Okay guys, we got seven minutes. That was so scary. <laughs> that was, the feed rate was way faster than I had expected. Okay, we are so close, but we are not all the way through. So, that's a problem. Okay, quick solution. Let's go, let's go.
we go, here we go. Piece of metal, piece of metal. And one, two, one, two. Come on, come on! No! <laughs> Let it keep going. We are so close. Come on, come on. I need, I need a screwdriver. Yes, screwdriver. Come on, I need more. There we go. Linseed oil. Almost there. Almost there. All right, there's one. Oh man, if I if this was just the one hour and two minute challenge, I would have this thing in the bag. I'm making a mess, but I'm doing it. And done. Well, there you have it, my friends. One hour. Wow. <laughs> that was such a fast hour where did the time go oh my goodness um yeah so that feed rate scared me a little bit it was a little fast um but we didn't break a bit we did things more or less safely and we ended up with something at like one hour and three minutes two coat hangers that i i'm actually kind of happy with and so starting from a bare stock material planing it down carving it out, sanding it, getting some linseed oil on it, and here we are one hour later. Oh my gosh, uh, what a journey. The reason I was actually interested in doing this one hour challenge was because I wanted to better understand manufacturing time and process. And so uh, there's gonna be a video coming out here very soon about me breaking down my thought process and math around how do you decide if a product is worth actually making to sell? Um, because there's, it's not just can you do it, it's can you do it efficiently, can you do it cost effectively, and is there a market for that product in a scale that you're comfortable with? And so this was kind of just the entry level uh, mindset project that gets me into that place of where I can begin to understand this whole manufacturing of different products uh, custom items, big batch items, 
just in a better a better thought process. I'm super thrilled the way this turned out and I'm excited to mount it on my wall and actually use it. And I'm still baffled in a good way that I can program something into a computer and one hour later I have a functional item and that just is super exciting for me. So thank you so much for joining in. I hope to catch you next time and maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't, but it's all right. We stayed safe and hopefully you do too. Catch you next time. Oh, oh, oh.